Our emotions play a significant role in how we experience the world, and understanding and managing them can lead to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Hello everyone and welcome to today's discussions on an important aspect of our lives, mastering our emotions. A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Proverbs 25, 28 Emotions are the colors of our inner world. They can bring joy, motivation, and connection, but they can also lead to confusion, stress, and discord. It is crucial to recognize the power of our emotions in order to master them. When you have a deficient EQ, even though your IQ is above average, you may struggle to manage your staff as a boss or collaborate with your colleagues in your workplace. Since it will be challenging for you to control yourself in certain situations, especially in dealing with the moods of your employees or colleagues, you will take lots of wrong decision which will lead to the failure of your missions. The book of Proverbs 29 verse 11 says, I quote, full vent all their anger, but the wise man hold it back. It means that foolish people tend to express their anger without restraint, while wise people are able to control their emotions and remain calm even in difficult situations. A wise person holds back their anger and thinks before they speak, which can help to prevent conflict and promote peace. A wise person will not let their emotion get the best of them. Self-awareness is a cornerstone of emotional mastery. By understanding and identifying our emotions, we gain insight into their triggers and the impact they have on our thoughts and actions. Emotional intelligence is the ability to recognize and manage our own emotion while also understanding and empathizing with the emotions of others. It empowers us to navigate social situations and relationships more effectively. A manager with a good EQ and a correct IQ is better than one with an excellent IQ and a mediocre EQ. In fact, a manager with an excellent EQ is better able to handle the stress associated to their job. Mindfulness practices such as meditation can help us develop the skill of self-regulation. It enables us to choose our responses rather than react impulsively to strong emotions. I'm not suggesting that emotions should be suppressed or not expressed. Since suppressing our emotion can be harmful, but so can unchecked emotional outbursts. Learning to express our feelings appropriately and constructively is a key aspect of emotional mastery. Life brings its share of negative emotion, but we can learn to cope with them effectively. Techniques like reframing, seeking support, and focusing on solutions rather than problems can help us manage challenging emotions. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity and setbacks. By mastering our emotions, we can enhance our resilience, which is crucial for maintaining mental and emotional well-being in the face of life challenges. In conclusion, mastering our emotion is a lifelong journey that can significantly improve our quality of life. By becoming more self-aware, cultivating emotional intelligence, and practicing mindfulness, we gain the power to respond to life's ups and downs with grace and balance. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of mastering our emotions. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content on personal development and well-being. Remember, mastering your emotion is a skill that can lead you to a happier and fulfilling life. Stay emotionally aware and see you in the next discussion.